This isn't going to be a long video, uh, a lot of important information in this video, and only two topics to cover, so please, just bear with me. Uh, first of all, this isn't one of the topics, uh, but IGN blocked me on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if it was those funny pictures I made comparing the graphics of Uncharted 4 to Quantum Break. I don't know if it was the amount of PC petitions uh, that I sent to uh, IGN asking them to make an article letting the gaming community know that PC fans want PlayStation first party exclusives. Um, I don't know. It could have been either one. I mean, I, I, you know, it's like... I wasn't really sending this shit directly towards them all the time. Sometimes I was fighting with Xbox fans in the comment section of their Twitter post. Uh, but hey, I, I guess they really got offended by the truth that I was speaking to either them or the Xbox fans. And they felt the need to block me. I ain't shit on Twitter. You know, like I don't even got 500 followers on there. Um, so for them to block just some small random gamer like myself, kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, let's move on from that big news as we all know Microsoft's holding that Xbox and Windows 10 media event in San Francisco next Thursday For them to hold it in San Francisco and not just have some sort of a, a little small announcement like a Nintendo Direct This is gonna be big now. There's rumors that they're gonna get some sort of connectivity with Oculus Rift uh, which will be hilarious because if Xbox fans support Oculus Rift that means they will be supporting a 500 $99 uh, piece of peripheral when they were trying to joke about the PlayStation VR and God knows PlayStation VR wouldn't be nowhere near the $600 price uh, point that the Oculus Rift is but it is going to be funny uh, once that announcement comes to fruition uh, also we already know that Sunset Overdrive Killer Instinct and Gears of War Ultimate Edition were announced last year that they were supposed to be getting released this year for PC. I believe one or two of those games were supposed to be March, and I don't know when the other one is. Uh, but next week, Thursday, is going to be fun. It's going to be hilarious. It really, really is. Um, now, I've already made a video about this this week that we have five exclusives so far that I know of that we can look forward to in March. And then we got... Ratchet and Clank the game and Ratchet and Clank the movie and the movie drops the same week that Uncharted 4 drops uh, Ratchet and Clank the game I believe it drops in the beginning of April which is April the 12th uh, which is the week right after Quantum Break so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting in, in the month of April by the way Ratchet and Clank is only $40 uh, because they expect you to go see the movie which the ticket might be like 10 something uh, depending on where you're at I know my tickets normally run me $12, uh, so it's a pretty good incentive. You, you you get the game for $40, why not go see the damn movie for like a $12, $13 ticket? Uh, so um, that's pretty much it for this section. But the other big news is that the same day that Quantum Break went gold, which is today, Friday, Smite got announced for the PS4. This is a big blow to Xbox fans because Crap Gamer just tried to make a professional review on this game and he looked like a dumbass. Um, and then he, he, he made just numerous, numerous comments about how good it is on Xbox. Once this game comes out and Digital Foundry gets their hands on it, we're going to see how good it really is on Xbox. This is why Crap Gamer should shut his fucking mouth, especially when a game shares spotlight with the PC. Sometimes, especially if it's on Steam or something else, not Windows 10, we're not talking about those fucking games. When it's on Steam, Humble Bundle, some of those games definitely make their way over to the PS4. Uh, and if they're on Xbox and they make their way over to the PS4, that's when you have these comparisons and that's when you go see um, how good the Xbox really is. We all know when those comparisons start coming out, like, well, let's just say uh, um, Rocket League, um, it dips below 50 frames per second on the Xbox One. You know, like, th this, there's just, people should shut the fuck up when you try to brag about Xbox. Especially next Thursday when most of your games go to PC via Windows 10. Um, it's going to be a sad, sad day for you guys. 
Uh, but once again, all the links are going to be in the description. Just in case any Xbox fan does not believe, I'm going to leave all these PlayStation Smite uh, links in the description so you guys can watch the trailer, go to their official page on PlayStation. Um, you can currently look at their Metacritic. I believe the PC version has a higher Metacritic um, score than the Xbox by only three points um, and a higher user score as well. But um, that's pretty much it for today. Once again, this information is very sensitive, so make sure you get it out. Uh, it's definitely going to piss off some people. Uh, so make sure you get this information out. Take a screenshot, send the link however you need to. Make sure people know.